videos. So of course, you're learning something every week. And last month, I think I talked about Aiken and why I don't recommend taking Aiken. Well, I think in that video, actually, I, to summarize, I said that if you're if you're almost 100%, maybe 95% certain you can pass, then it's a great motivation tool. I think I explained the difference between motivation tool and achievement tool. It's not showing your ability in English. It's trying to motivate you to study English more. So if you do well, you'll study English better uh, in the future. You'll study harder in the future. If you fail it, then um, you'll be demotivated yourself or your students or your child. So, of course, th this video, continuing that, uh, about Aiken. Uh, by the way, this is the best book on Aiken that I found. This, of course, for the uh, first level, but you can find it for any level. Depends on the level, the price is different. But this is also what we use to teach in our school. And uh, we have different levels for every age, so Aiken, you easily teach privately. But if you want to study privately with us for the passing Aiken test, especially if you want to take the interview test privately. So today, I'm going to talk about the interview test. A lot of students have asked me recently, it's the Aiken season, I think. Like, hey, can you help me with the interview test, or do you have any advice on the interview test? So today, we're going to look over, sorry here, we're going to look over first, this is our Apple uh, Slice of Pie page, of course. Uh, so please uh, subscribe. Uh, please hit the subscribe button so you can get these videos that come out every single day to help your English. So today, we're going to go over the example uh, interview test. So this is actually on the Aiken main page. We'll go over one by one, and we'll see they have great example software here to show you. Let me move some stuff around here. Wait a minute. Uh, here we go. Okay, let me make this. So this is Aiken level three. Hello. Hello. Can I have your card, please? Yes. Thank you. Please sit down. Okay, thank you. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Michael Green. What's your name, please? My name is Natsuko Sakamoto. Ms. Sakamoto, this is the grade three test, okay? Yes. Ms. Sakamoto, how are you today? I'm fine. Good. Okay, let's start the test. This is your card. Thank you. First, please read the passage silently for 20 seconds. Now, please read it aloud. Listen to the radio. There are many kinds of radio programs. People often enjoy listening to sports or their favorite songs. People can learn English and other languages from the radio. So it is very useful. Now, I'll ask you five questions. Okay. Number one, please look at the passage. What can people learn from the radio? They can learn English and other languages. Number two, please look at the picture. What is the man going to do? He's going to read the newspaper. Number three, how many cups are there on the table? There are two. Now, Miss Sakamoto, please turn the card over. Number four, what do you like to do on weekends? I like to play tennis. Number five. Have you ever been to a foreign country? Yes. Please tell me more. I've been to America. 
Okay, Miss Sakamoto, this is the end of the test. May I have your card back, please? Here you are. Thank you. You may go now. Goodbye. Bye. Have a nice day. Thank you. Okay, so that was Aiken 3. So remember always to tell me more, to explain more. So this will be pre 2. Let's see, wait a minute. Hello. Hello. Can I have your card, please? Yes. Thank you. Please have a seat. Thank you. My name is Mary Fisher. May I have your name, please? Yes, my name is Hiroshi Tanaka. Mr. Tanaka, this is the grade pre-2 test, okay? Okay. How are you today? I'm fine. Okay, now let's start the test. Here's your card. Thank you. First, please read the passage silently for 20 seconds. All right, now, please read it aloud. Recycling. These days, recycling is becoming common in people's daily lives. Most towns and cities collect cans and plastic bottles for recycling. Many families use products made from recycled paper. And in this way, they try to make the environment better. It is becoming more important to take care of the environment. Now, I'll ask you five questions. Okay. Number one. According to the passage, how do many families try to make the environment better? By using products made from recycled paper. Number two. Now, please look at the people in picture A. They are doing different things. Tell me as much as you can about what they are doing. A man is putting a box of bottles on a truck. A woman is planting some flowers. A woman is walking her dog. A man is painting the wall. A boy is riding a bicycle. Number three. Now, look at the girl in picture B. Please describe the situation. She can't buy a drink because there are a lot of bicycles in front of the vending machine. Now, Mr. Tanaka, please turn over the card and put it down. Number four, do you think drinks in plastic bottles will be more popular in the future? Yes. Why? People can carry drinks easily in plastic bottles. More kinds of drinks will be sold in these bottles. Number five, there are many kinds of newspapers in Japan today. Do you usually read a newspaper? Yes. Please tell me more. 
I think reading a newspaper is very useful. I can get a lot of news and information every day. All right, Mr. Tanaka. This is the end of the test. Could I have the card back, please? Here you are. Thank you. You may go now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Thank you. Okay, so again, that was Aiken Pre 2. So now we're going to go on to Aiken 2. Let's see how we do. Sorry, here we go. Hello. Hello. Can I have your card, please? Yes, here you are. Thank you. Please have a seat. Thank you. My name is Mike Green. May I have your name, please? Yes, my name is Natsuko Sakamoto. Ms. Sakamoto, this is the grade two test, okay? Okay. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, now let's start the test. Here's your card. Thank you. First, please read the passage silently for 20 seconds. All right. Now, please read it aloud. A new service for parents. It can be troublesome for parents with young children to go shopping in crowded places. For this reason, more shopping centers have started offering their customers child care services. Some customers with children choose shopping centers that provide these services. In this way, they do their shopping more easily. Such services are becoming available even in places such as theaters and hospitals. Now, I'll ask you four questions. Number one, according to the passage, how do some customers with children do their shopping more easily? By choosing shopping centers that provide child care services. Number two, now, Please look at the picture and describe the situation. You have 20 seconds to prepare. Your story should begin with the sentence on the card. Please begin. One day, the Sasaki family went to an art museum that offered child care services. Mr. Sasaki said to his wife, they'll take care of our baby while we look around. 10 minutes later, Mr. Sasaki was putting his bag into a locker. Mrs. Sasaki was looking forward to seeing the paintings with her husband. Two hours later at the gift shop, Mr. Sasaki was choosing a toy for their baby. Mrs. Sasaki was worried that their baby might be crying. Now, Ms. Sakamoto, please turn over the card and put it down. Number three. Some people say 
that parents today give too much freedom to their children. What do you think about that? I agree. These days, parents are not strict enough. As a result, children's manners are getting worse. Number four. Today, many people buy second-hand goods such as used books and used clothing. Do you think more people will buy second-hand goods in the future? Yes. Why? People can save money by buying used goods. Also, I think second-hand stores will sell more kinds of things. So remember, always tell more. Why? All right, Miss Sakamoto. This is the end of the test. Could I have the card back, please? Here you are. Thank you. You may go now. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a nice day. You too. Goodbye. Okay, again, and always, if you go to this website, you can practice here which part was difficult for you. Let's see, so we finished Aiken 2, now Pre-1. Now, as you can see, we're getting more and more difficult. Hello. Hello. May I have your card, please? Here you are. Thank you. Please have a seat. Thank you. My name is Ann Bailey. May I have your name, please? Sure. It's Kazuto Matsuda. All right, Mr. Matsuda. This is the grade pre-1 test, okay? Yes. So, Mr. Matsuda, could you tell me a little bit about yourself? Yes, I'm a university student. I'm studying travel and tourism. Sounds interesting. Do you ever go abroad during your spring vacation? Yes, I like to travel with my friends. We are going to England this spring. Well, I hope you have a great trip. All right, let's start. Here's your card. Thank you. You have one minute to prepare before you start your narration. All right, please begin your narration. You have two minutes. One day, a woman was on her way to walk. As she was walking from the station, a man in front of her was smoking. He accidentally burned her jacket with his cigarette. The next week, the woman took part in a campaign to stop people from smoking on the street. The campaigners were asking people walking by to sign a petition to support their cause, and some people were happy to do so. Six months later, the woman was pleased to see that some workmen were making a special smoking area near the station. Also, a sign had been put up to warn people that if they smoked while walking on the street, they would be fined 1,000 yen. A few days later, however, the woman walked past the smoking area and saw a lot of smoke coming from it. Some other people walking by were coughing. Thank you. Now, I'm going to ask you four questions. Are you ready? Yes. Number one, please look at the fourth picture. If you're the woman, what would you be thinking? I'd be thinking our campaign hasn't solved the problem. 
it might be better to ban smoking in all public places. Maybe I should speak to the campaign organizers again. Now, Mr. Matsuda, please turn over the card and put it down. Number two. Should more be done to warn children about the dangers of smoking? No, most schools explain to students that smoking is harmful to their health. This seems to be working, as I've heard that the smoking rate is declining. Number three. Do you think that the crime rate in Japan will increase in the future? Yes, the poor economic conditions are unlikely to improve soon, so unemployment will increase. This will cause more people to turn to crime in order to survive. Number four. Do you think that public opinion can influence decisions made by the government? Yes, the government needs the support of the public to get re-elected. So, if enough people protest against something, the government has no choice but to listen. Well, that's all, Mr. Matsuda. Could I have the card back, please? Sure, here you are. Thank you. You may go now. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, so let's see now. Aiken 1, which I think will have me reading some parts of it. Good morning. Good morning. Please have a seat. Thank you. My name is James Randall. My name is Koichi Kageyama. May I have your name, please? My name is Miyuki Maeda. Okay, Miss Maeda. How long did it take you to get here this morning? Actually, I am based here in Osaka, so it only took me about 30 minutes on foot to get here this morning. It's a nice day for a walk. All right. Could you please tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, okay. I am an editor at the publishing company here in Osaka, but I was born and brought up in Kyoto. Which do you like better, Kyoto or Osaka? I like both, but I prefer Kyoto because Osaka is quite crowded and too built up. Because Kyoto is so close, I often head back there on the weekends to see my family and get away from the stresses of work. Okay, thank you very much. Let's begin the test. Here is the topic card. Okay. You have one minute to choose one topic from the five choices and prepare your speech. Okay. Okay, your time is up. Please tell us which topic you chose. I have chosen the third topic. Is tradition always worth preserving? Okay, you have two minutes to give your speech. Please begin. In my opinion, I don't think you can say whether tradition is always worth preserving. It depends on the specific tradition that people are talking about. To explain my opinion, I have two reasons. The first is that some traditions add value to modern life. You should practice reading this at home and help us to connect to the past. However, my second reason explains that some traditions are a part of the past and should be left that way. Using examples from Japan, one important tradition worth preserving is making the passing, marking the passing of seasons. Japan has many ceremonies and traditions which mark spring, summer, fall, and winter, as well as at the end of the year, 
there are important uh, these are important as they remind us to respect nature and our place in it even in the modern world another one is taking off our shoes before entering homes we are symbolically leaving the outside world behind and it helps to keep homes clean in that way it improves our daily lives and connects us with past customs at the same time some people may say that tradition is always worth preserving to them i would ask what they think of the old tradition of women walking a few steps behind men in japan in the interest of quality this is not Equality, this is not a tradition that I think we need to preserve. We can remember it in history classes, but we do not have to continue it. To sum up, it is not possible to say that tradition is always worth preserving. Many traditions should be continued, but only if they add value to modern life. You should try to read like that at home to practice. You can mute me. Thank you. Uh, we are now going to ask you some questions about your speech. You mentioned the tradition of taking off shoes in Japan. Can you explain a bit more about how this brings value to modern life? Well, I think that the tradition of taking off shoes when we enter our homes, other people's homes or sacred places is an important part of respect. We are respecting other people or places by trying to make sure we do not bring in dirt from outside. On a personal and practical level, when we take off our shoes before entering our homes, our cleaning duties are lighter. If I kept my shoes on at home, I'd have to clean a lot more than I do now. So remember to practice these with mute on. In addition to your example of women walking behind men, do you have any other ideas about traditions that you think are not worth preserving? Certainly. The Japanese tradition of sending New Year's cards is one, of the, is one that is becoming less popular, particularly among young people. Japanese people send many cards to friends, acquaintances, and business connections. Some of my friends, however, prefer to send an email from their computers or messages from their cell phones. These options are quick, quicker, cheaper, and more environmentally friendly. In this case, I think people should be allowed to choose whether they want to send cards or not, and society should, not, should stop pressuring people to preserve this tradition. So remember to practice these at home with Muton. And do you feel the same way about summer and New Year's gifts? Yes, these traditions can place a big financial burden on people and create an uncomfortable relationship of obligation. In addition, sometimes people end up with things they do not want or use. This tradition causes a lot of wasteful and unnecessary spending in society. I think that people should find some ways to build and maintain relationships. You've talked quite a lot about uh, which traditions to preserve. What do you think is the best way to preserve these traditions? Actually, I think that the home is the best place to preserve and pass on traditions. If children see that their parents value traditions, such as cleaning the whole house at New Year or uh, bowing to show a sign of respect, then children will continue these traditions in the future. Of course, Schools also have a, a role to play, as do museums and cultural promotion groups, including tea ceremony, clubs, and so on. And of course, if the government and companies give funding to these groups, it becomes easier to get people interested in different traditions. But I think that the starting point for preserving traditions is in the home. Now, I'd like to move slightly away from the topic. You briefly mentioned the role of schools. I would like to ask whether you think it's important for Japanese schools to teach Japanese history. Yes, definitely. I think schools have a responsibility to educate their students about our country's history. With this knowledge, people can better understand the world around them, and it will also give them a better idea of what direction their country should take in the future. All right. 
Your time is up. That is the end of the test. Could I have the card back, please? Thank you very much. You may go now. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Okay, so remember to practice these at home. You can, of course, jump ahead or behind if something is difficult on the website. And remember to practice with your own opinion these questions. So until tomorrow, have a good day, and we'll see you tomorrow in another video from Slice of Pie. Don't forget to give us a like below.